Kiribati is a small island country in Oceania consisting of over 30 coral islands and atolls. This country is not very popular, so tourism here is still in its infancy. However, this is all the more reason to visit, as there are plenty of untapped attractions in these parts. Here are some of the best things to do in Kiribati. Do stick around until the end of this video to discover the breathtaking attraction in number 1. Number 9. Enjoy scuba diving at its best. Kiribati is open to tourists who are looking to explore their fill of untapped islands and atolls here, and more tourists are beginning to discover this hidden paradise. However, many of them make their way here for a quality scuba diving and snorkeling experience. As expected, from most island countries in Oceania, Kiribati is home to some exciting scuba diving destinations. But then, the incredible coral reefs surrounding this island takes this experience to an entirely different level. This colorful coral reef is already awe-inspiring and enticing enough for divers, and the sublime marine life within makes it even more exciting and a beacon to scuba divers from far and wide. You too can join in on the fun, as there are guides on site to put you through the process. But if you would rather not get in, you can just enjoy the beautiful landscape from the surface. Number 8. Explore Tarawa If you have only one destination to explore in Kiribati, it should be Tarawa. And the reasons are not very far-fetched. First, the fact that it consists of more than half of the country's population only tells you it's the place to enjoy the best of everything. Secondly, it doesn't lack its fair share of astounding tourist attractions, making it the ideal destination for any tourist. That said, you should know that your trip to Kiribati will be incomplete without a visit here. Tarawa is divided into two parts, including North and South Tarawa. Although they lay close to each other, these two parts couldn't be any more different. North Tarawa is relatively smaller and sparsely populated, but it is especially recognized in Kiribati mythology. On the other hand, the larger South Tarawa is densely populated, consisting of more than half of the country's population. It is also the capital of the Republic of Kiribati, making it the most popular atoll in the country. There are many attractions to visit here, including the Parliament Building, Ambo Island, and the Sacred Heart Cathedral, to mention a few. Number 7. Go Bird Watching on Christmas Island The next stop to take on your tour of the Kiribati Islands is the world's largest known coral atoll, which is the Kiridamas Island. Also called Christmas Island, this atoll covers a total land area of about 150 square miles, which is almost 70% of Kiribati's land area. Don't get it twisted, this island is not only open to visitors during the Christmas holidays, as some have feared, so you can visit this impressive coral atoll any time of the year. There are many fun activities to partake in here on Christmas Island including swimming, snorkeling, fishing, and much more. However, the most notable thing to do here is bird watching. This island has a thriving bird life, and you can find an abundant species of birds flying above your head here. Luckily, there are several bird watching stations here offering tourists the opportunity to get a closer look at these birds through magnifying lenses. At surface, this may not sound like the most fun-filled activity, but a trial will certainly convince you otherwise. You can rest assured that this will be one of the highlights of your visit here. Number 6. Learn about Kiribati's World War II history By now, you would have discovered that Kiribati is one lovely country with awesome islands and atolls. But what you may not know is that this cute little island country was the venue of one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. First, Japan conquered the island after what was almost a mismatch. Then, the US Marines later intervened to dismiss the Japanese after a fiercely fought battle that lasted more than 72 hours. Well, the battle may seem like a lifetime ago now, but historical sites here on the island exhibit relics from the historic event. These sites always promise fun and enlightening experiences, especially for history buffs looking to learn a thing or two about the war. If you find yourself among this category, these sites are a must-visit for you during your stay in Kiribati. Number 5. Explore History and Culture at Te Umanebong Kiribati has a rich history and cultural heritage that is visible in the day-to-day -day activities of the locals. In fact, their cultural values are so essential that each village has a community center or maniba, where meetings are held and values are taught. However, if you want to take an in-depth look into the history and culture of Kiribati, then you should head down to Te Umanebong. Te Umanibong is Kiribati's cultural museum in Tarawa, which houses essential artifacts and items of cultural significance. 
The UNESCO recognized museum was established in 1973 and has since been a significant attraction in the country's capital. Tourists are given a guided tour through the museum to better understand the items on display. Surely, a trip around this historic building will expose you to a unique side of Kiribati's history and culture. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below now. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. Go shopping at the local markets and enjoy local Kiribati delicacies. While in Kiribati, you certainly do not want to miss out on shopping in one of the local markets. This experience is a wonder and you won't forget it in a hurry. The local markets are filled with local traders selling food and foodstuffs. But you can also find excellent handcrafted items like baskets, cups, fans, and seashell necklaces that make the perfect souvenirs. While exploring the markets, you can also take a quick detour to enjoy the delicacies served at any local restaurant around town. Some local dishes to try in these parts include pandanus, a boiled fruit recipe, and palusami made with coconut cream, sliced onions, and curry powder. Number 3. Get close to the locals at Kuria Island. Kuria is an atoll in the central island of Kiribati, consisting of two small islets separated by a narrow channel. The island is somewhat isolated, but it doesn't make it any less of the awe-inspiring destination it is. Plus, there are more than a few attractions for you here, including the white sand beaches and picturesque landscapes. You will also find the locals here very welcoming in their relationship with tourists. The island council in Kuria makes provision for a guest house that accommodates tourists and helps them to get comfortable. However, you may find the dress code here to be a bit stricter since women are not allowed to go around in miniskirts, shorts, or bikinis. Number 2. Try out some exciting sport activities. Want to take your experience here up a notch? You could head out to a sporting complex to enjoy some exciting sports activities. Luckily, Kiribati appreciates the importance of sports and partakes in more than a couple. You would expect soccer to thrive in this part due to its affiliation with the United Kingdom, and it certainly does. Although it is not yet prominent on the international stage, soccer is enjoyed on almost all the inhabited islands in the country. Other popular sports in Kiribati include table tennis, weightlifting, and athletics, and you can partake in either of these sports at the local level. Indeed, this is an excellent way to let off some steam before exploring other attractions here. Number 1. Visit the Phoenix Island Protected Area Kiribati is a relatively small country, but it is famous for housing the world's largest marine protected area, which is the Phoenix Island Protected Area. PIPA, as it's most commonly referred to, covers a total area of about 158,000 square miles, and it also has an expansive coral ecosystem that makes it a haven for most marine species. In addition to the thriving marine life in this protected area, PIPA also records many bird species within the region, having the best marine and bird life within its axis. It is no surprise that PIPA is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a significant tourist destination in Oceania. There's no doubt that a visit here will present you with a one-of-a-kind experience worthy of being the highlight of your trip to Kiribati. Click here for more places to visit in Oceania.